All right, next we will move on to the KCAL. We have with us this afternoon the Washington Wildcats coached by Eric King. Last year, Washington went 17-6 and overall, winning the KCAL with the record of 9-1 and earning a berth to the state um, playoff. So let's welcome Coach King and the Wildcats. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for everything you guys do. We really appreciate being here. You guys are doing a wonderful job. And it's just our, our pleasure to be here with you guys today. Okay, we've had a great preseason. Our guys really worked hard during the summer. We've been on the weights pretty good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. These guys are really dedicated this year to giving not only winning league again, but uh, getting back to state and also trying to win a state championship. Okay, right here I have with me Caleb Harrison, who plays my small forward. Okay, he was also our quarterback on the football team, did an excellent job, probably our best defender, perimeter defender. There we have him right now. We have James McNeil with me, who was all state last year, and Shum was on the Shum uh, top 10 players last year. And then I have Jamarcus Don, who was my point guard, who was a junior this year, really running the team, has really worked hard over the summer, developed his offensive game. He's another great defender. Uh, we've had one game we played uh, last Friday. We had a tough game up in Topeka. We had to go play Topeka West, who's really good. They had a 6 7 kid, a 6 5 kid. Inside, uh, we were on the uh, with Topeka game of the week. So we're on the radio up there, and the television showed up. So it was us against the world up there in Topeka. And we did a pretty good job. We went up there and got the, the win on the road. You know, against a great team, a great coach. We ended up beating them by 18 up there. So that was a pretty good way to start the season. And my guys are really focused. You know, I know everybody's gunning for us, which we're kind of used to. You know, if we win league this year, it'll be a three-peat. It'll be four league titles in the last five years. So. We really take a lot of pride in that every day. And uh, we have a nice little complimentary. A lot of people think that we're just a bunch of bigs this year because we probably are the biggest team in the league overall. But our, our guard play right here is tough. So we give you inside and outside. Uh, also, we have William Jefferson, who was our league last year. He led the league in uh, rebounds, if I'm not mistaken. And Trayvon Hart, our 6'7", six, 6'8", six, kid, who uh, was a great defender, and he led the league in block shots. We have uh, Donald Matoya, who's a, he played a lot of JV, played some varsity last year. He's a 6'9 kid. He was really worked over the summer and dropped some weight. He's gotten bigger. So I have a DeMarco Smith, who's a little sophomore, plays the backup point guard, who's going to be really good. I have a kid, uh, Damon Jackson, guy okay, was a junior who's stepping up from the JV for us this year. Did a pretty solid job the other night. He also plays a little safety in football. So we have about nine, ten kids on our roster that's going. I think we could easily be ten deep, though. And my biggest thing is I've been telling these guys to set the tone and uh, when the bench goes in to come in and play hard. But, uh, you know, they've re really set our standards very high because, like I said, we know everybody's gunning for us and uh, we're practicing hard every day, getting ready for them. And uh, now we have a tough schedule, though. Have a tough schedule. Like I said, we start off at Topeka West. This week alone, we play uh, Thursday, we play Raytown South. Okay, the big, you know, juggernaut over Missouri. And if we beat them, or when we beat them, this Friday we play Hogan Prep. So we go from Raytown South to Hogan Prep. This year, again, we're blessed to be in the Hy-Vee shootout. Uh, we play Kearney from over in Missouri. Uh, we're the first boys game of the Hy-Vee shootout. That's 7 o'clock game, so that's a privilege. Also this year, we play at the Sprint Center again in January. We have a, a nice little matchup with Lincoln Prep. So over in Ray, so over Missouri, we, we go from Raytown South to Hogan Prep to Lincoln Prep. You know, it's, it's tough. So hopefully that will prepare us for league, which will be, I, I think our league teams, we have some new coaches, and a lot of us that are returning is going to be a pretty good league. And one thing I've always said about our league, everybody's tough. Everybody's tough. We've been fortunate to win league, but every, every, every night, you know, you go to Sumner, you go to Slago, you go over to Wyandotte, you go to Harmon, go down to Atchison. It's tough. It's tough. So hopefully our off season, or excuse me, our out of a league play up prepares for league play. So I, I think we were looking at everybody's schedule. I think they have us probably like the third toughest schedule in the state. So it is what it is. We have to just get ready for every game and be prepared for everybody and give everybody our best effort. And I think we'll be fine, though. I was just laughing, Coach, because you just covered everything right there. Huh? <laughs> we don't need it. You got them covered. But tell you got an embarrassment of riches with all the, uh, you know, bigs and stuff that you have and the talent you've had over the last few years, 36 and 3 in the league, you know, over that time. Talk a little bit about, you know, staying on top and, and keep rebuilding and, and reloading as opposed to having to rebuild. Well, it, it starts with these young men, you know. They come in with the mindset as next, next team up, next man up. So we've had the seniors in the previous years that have shown them the Washington way. 
You know, so now it's just about them accepting the challenge. You know, and you know, like I said, league's going to be tough again, and we just got to take every team and every game for what it is, play as hard as we can. But we, we do take pride in kind of calling ourselves a team that represents KCK. And the reason why we say that, not to disrespect any other schools, but we get a little bit more television time. We play on television three times every year. We've been blessed to do that. So we know that, you know, the whole city's watching. And we like everybody say, I think one of the biggest compliments we got, and I don't want anybody to take this wrong, I was at the store this summer, and a, a young man came up to me and said, Coach King, you know, you guys are the KU or KCK, you know, or the league. And that meant a lot to us saying that we expect to win, we expect to be good, we expect the work to be good, and um, when we play you, we're going to give you our best effort. So, James, talk a little bit about those expectations. Um, you know, you guys – from a league perspective, you know, looking to, like Coach said, three-peat, but also, I mean, from a state perspective, I think you guys opened up number four in the state, if that's correct. So talk a little bit about those expectations and the kind of the pressure you and the um, rest of your teammates kind of put on each other or, or yourselves to kind of continue to keep that streamline going. Um, <clears throat> um, I believe we, we've been working hard as a team in practice. I push my team every day. We go 100%. If we don't go 110%, we're on the line doing 17s. 17s is like suicide. Yeah. <laughs> so we go hard 100% every practice, even at, like after the game. Friday, after we got that good win in Topeka West, next day, Saturday, we had practice working hard. Um, we just, we all want it. We all want the same goal. We all got the same goal. We all want it. We all believe we got a chance to – I ain't trying to be cocky. I want to be humble. But we're uh, practicing. We want to go undefeated. We got a chance to go undefeated. We think um, we're tough. We're experienced. And uh, we believe we can do it. We all want the same thing for each other. We, I know we don't look it now, but we used to run 17s back in the day. There's no way I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about taking over. You know, scoring JT came out of nowhere and was – you know, averaging over like 25, 26 points a game. You know, talk you about you guys, you know, t picking up some of that scoring slack, Jamarcus. Well, I think, like, collectively, we often combine to get that 25.6. As JT, yeah, we're going to be missing a lot of scoring averages. But, like, together, we all can combine to increase that scoring average, maybe 30 between us three. Caleb, so let's talk a little bit about you know, being that football guy, Coach mentioned you're probably one of the better defend, defenders on the team as well. And I talked last year, you know, about how you actually bring that toughness from football over to basketball. So talk a little bit how you kind of set the stage on the defensive um, end. Just being aggressive and being smart because, you know, they're calling all these little tic-tac touch fouls now. So just tell them to be aggressive, be, you know, make sure you play as a team, make sure you rotate as a team, talk. Just like on the field, everything transfers over to the court. You always got to talk. Always got to be a teammate. Just believe in one another and play as a collective group. We can get the job done, basically. So, Coach, style stays the same, or do, do you kind of adjust anything with JT gone this year? I know you kind of had to play that by ear. Again, he came out of nowhere. But right. how much adjustment have you made You know, this year with having so many different players that can contribute? No, not really. Not really. Even last, you know, JT said he led us in scoring, but it wasn't like it's just give the ball to JT and everybody else get out of the way. So pretty much when you come in our program, freshman all the way up, we run the same system. So it's just like I said, next man up. You know, these guys know they can play this game of basketball. Oh, yeah, we'll miss JT, but, you know, let's, let's just do what you do and don't put any pressure on yourselves and just stay within the system. But really it starts with our defense. You know, everybody thinks offensive and they're going to pound the ball and we have those guards. But like I said, we held Topeka West, who was 6'7", 6'5", you know, to 35 points the other night. They only had 16 at half, and that was in their gym. So, you know, really, we just all stay within the same offensive system, share the ball, get the ball inside out, which everybody always does. We still will press, we trap. You know, what I like to do is I don't just have one system that I'm married to. The way I do it, whatever you can handle is what we give you. So if you don't have guards, I'm going to press you to death. I'm going to trap you to death, okay? If you have bigs that we think we need to double down on or stay close to the rim on, we may zone you a little bit. Then we'll, like last, like we did the other night, we do a little of each, okay? You come in, if I, you have a good shooter, they had one kid, I can't remember his name, but he had 45 points last year against our JV. The other night, he was, you know, varsity, he was a shooting guard. We held him to six. 
You know, so whatever you can't really prepare for or you don't really be, want us to do is what we're going to do. You know, so when you play us, basically you have to be ready for everything you see. I'm, you know, I like to – I see your weaknesses, and that's what we're going to attack. James talked about the goal maybe this year being 25 and zero. Um, so talk a little bit about what did you guys do collectively off season to kind of work towards that goal? Uh, we all uh, work with good uh, AAU programs. Most of us, except for the uh, quarterback, he uh, was in doing summer workouts for football. But um, we was all getting ready, just working on team basketball. That was just going to get us there, team basketball. We was working on cell drill, mainly defense. Defense is going to bring the championship. Because last year, when we went to state, we had them for a little bit. Then we let up off the defense, and they just turned, turned, the, turned up on us, put the gas on yeah. us. And Jamarcus, maybe Caleb, talk a little bit about the experience last year going to state, you know, running in the Highland, who's a very talented team. What did you guys take away from that to, you know, get you hungry for this year? For real, for real, you just see, you see the different level once you get down into the state. Yeah, league play is tough and everything, but when you get down there to state, it's nothing but the big dogs. Like everybody, all the weaker teams are sitting at home, basically. So when we got there, you know, it's a different experience, different feel of the game. I actually went to the uh, to state when Trayvon White was there. So I already had a little bit, you know, to expect. But when we got there, it's just a totally different feel. The game is kind of faster. Like I said, we play more competition. It was like you have to be more prepared than you usually are mentally and physically. Thanks, Carl. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, y'all.